From a GDP of $70 to $20,000 in half a century, Korea accomplished a miraculous economic growth. People from all over the world are coming to Korea, where the miracle of the Han River was achieved. Where a rich history of 5,000 years and a dynamic modern culture coexist, Gun laws, that's the first thing that comes to mind when I think about safety and comparing Korea with my home country. Uh, yes, uh, Korea has built up a reputation where it's, it's been very safe uh, on an indi individual level. Uh, yeah, I think me and my wife have traveled all over the world. It's probably the safest place we've ever been. Very, very safe. It's very comfortable, very easy. Selected as one of the safest countries to travel in the world, Korea is a green zone. Now let us explore Korea, a safe society and a safe nation. Michael Aronson majored in East Asia Studies at NYU in the U.S. It has already been six years since he settled in Seoul. Immersed in Seoul's lifestyle, he knows the city inside out, like any other native of Seoul. Michael is also a YouTube star. In two years, he has produced over 250 videos that introduce Korea. Among his videos that include Gimbap, Kim Yana, and K-pop, the Subway song, which he produced and featured in, hit over 700,000 views. Michael especially loves the public transportation system in Korea. The most convenient thing about Korean transportation is probably the T-Money card. I mean, you can use it to pay for different forms of transportation all over the country. Michael is usually in Gangnam because of his work. So today, Michael decides to take a stroll in Gyeongbokgung Palace. It's about 11 kilometers between Gangnam and Gyeongbokgung Palace. Michael typically takes the subway, so utilizing his smartphone app is a must. When the destination is selected, everything from transfer stations to their arrival times appears in detail. Getting off at the 1-1 transfer spot as the app instructed, Michael was directly led to the next transfer line. So the transportation app, it tells you a few things. It gives you the routes of the trains, it tells you the arrival times when they're going to come, and it also tells you which end of the train you should get off at to have the fastest transfer route. More than anything else, Michael praises the simplicity of the Korean transportation system. Well, if you're going to a certain destination, there's usually a bus stop or a subway station that has the same name as the place you're going to, so it's really easy to get to any destination you want. Between Gangnam and Gyeongbokgung Palace, there are many tourist spots popular among foreigners. As most subway exits are directly connected to major tourist attractions, Jungno Oga Station leads to Gwangjang Market. Gwangjang Market, known to be even more popular to foreigners than to native Koreans, is one of Korea's oldest traditional markets. It is a place to try a variety of Korean foods and feel the warmth of the Korean people. I do. I've lost a wallet, and I've lost a phone here, and I've actually had them returned to me. So it works really okay. Recently, Anguk Station, near Gyeongbokgung Station, has also become a popular spot for tourists. Pukjeon Hanok Village is a must for those looking to experience the traditional style and grace of Korea. Travelers are always glad to have paid a visit. 
everybody in Seoul look like uh, they're gonna scare us or they're gonna steal some stuff from us. Everybody look friendly and we didn't feel any any scare during during the trip. So we really enjoy to travel here. At Bukchon Hanok village, the small alleyways between traditional houses called Hanok, with 500 years of history, offer a sentiment of the Eastern romance. Bukchon features numerous small museums and traditional wood shops in its crevices. You can experience Korean traditional art, like mulberry paper doll crafting in Pukchon. About 30 minutes after he left Gangnam subway station, Michael arrived at Gyeongbokgung station. Thanks to his public transportation app, Michael saved himself from a drive that would have taken over two hours on a busy weekend like today. Formerly the royal residence of ancient kings, Gyeongbokgung Palace displays all 500 years of the Chosun dynasty in a snapshot. Especially the changing of the guards ceremony that depicts Chosun's traditions is a popular event. Korea is a good place for tourists because there are so many things to do and it's convenient to get around, it's convenient to pay for things. There are information centers all over the place and there are uh, explanations and signs available in English and other languages. It's just really easy to see things. Then what is it like to live in Korea? Let's take a look into the safety infrastructure of the Korean society. A local elementary school in Yangsan, Gyeongsang Namdo. Rachel, who fell in love with the Korean culture during her travels and decided to settle her roots here, works as an elementary school English teacher. Okay, so let's make one long sentence, okay? She has long, long, what color? Black. As someone who works with children, Rachel's primary concern is always with their safety. <laughs> Wait till we say start. A pleasant English teacher in class, she does her part after school to improve safety measures near school grounds. Today, she plans to learn in detail about the new school safety system and introduce it on her blog. As an avid weekend traveler, Rachel enjoys visiting new places. Her blog boasts a variety of unique cultural experiences and insider's information on Korea's infrastructure. Hi guys, we are on the top of um, Gumjong San, Gumjong, yeah, Mount Gumjong uh, in Busan, and we are hiking around and it's really cool. Her videos, especially those that portray her hands-on experience of the Korean culture with her husband Ivan, have gained popularity from fellow bloggers. Super gorgeous. Today, she is going to experiment with the safety measures of her elementary school. Okay, so now we are walking around the school looking for more students to interview about the Ansim Alumi text messaging service. Do you have Ansim Alimi? Yeah. Oh, so can I see it? Where is it? What first came into view was a small mobile device carried by children. Okay. And so how does it work? The safety notification service utilizes a sensor at the school entrance that recognizes the individual devices and notifies parents of their children's safe arrival. When a child walks through the school entrance, a text is delivered to the parent's cell phone like this. 
advantages of the u n t i m a l i m i service. 스쿨케어 서비스 굉장히 좋죠. 이거는 내가 외출을 하고 있어도 아이 등하교 문자가 바로 전송이 돼서 내가 있는 자리에서 확인을 할수 있어서 너무 안심이 되고 좋아요. Recently, the safety notification service has been getting a great response as it has been made into an app called Smart Safe Return. When you set up a destination, information on the route the child is moving on is sent to the guardian periodically. Not only that, but a warning signal activates the moment the child is in a dangerous area. Anyone can download the Smart Safe Return app for free. This app is being well used among the women who worry about having to go home after dark. So we've been walking around the school looking at where the CCTV cameras are and now we are in the back of the school where some teachers exit and some teachers park and we are looking CCTV cameras behind the school. So let's try to look for one. There is one here. In addition, a new safety system has launched this year that has designated the 200 meter radius around school as a safe zone. This safe zone is directed against school violence and intruders. CCTV is a very good thing. The surveillance cameras situated in the school are under active watch 24 hours a day. However, other surveillance cameras around the school are operated not by the school, but by the city. Yangsan Surveillance Control System monitors around 500 cameras throughout the city. As such, police officers are dispatched as soon as danger is suspected. Three forty p.m. All classes are out at Obang Elementary School. Are there any safety concerns? With the control system's permission, Rachel tested the actual time it takes for police officers to arrive on scene in an emergency situation. Okay, we are in the parking garage of the school and I've set up four students and a stranger that is hiding behind a car and we're going to see how long it takes for the cops to show up. Kids are hanging out in the parking lot. Then a stranger appears on the scene. Real-time video feed is transmitted to the control center. 여보세요. 예, 지금 그 오봉 초등학교 그 바로 근접해 가지고 그 용의자 한 명이 그, 그 수상한 그런 그 행동을 하고 있습니다. 현장에 그 조치를 해 주시기 바랍니다. 네, 손 냄새 철동하도록 하겠습니다. Police officers take off for Obang Elementary School upon contact. How much time does it take for police officers to arrive on the scene? Less than two minutes. The surveillance system works much more efficiently than anticipated. And what happens to the strange man after you arrive? 저희들이 출동 도착 시 용의자에 대해요 혐의점이 있으면은 현행법 체포를 하고 혐의점이 없으면은 분방 조치하고 있습니다. The safety system in safe zones around schools is operating effectively.
every Friday night. In nearby Busan, with friends from all over the world, Rachel operates Language Cast, where they can come together and share Korean culture. I don't speak English very well, but I love to talk with you. So. It is a place where Koreans and foreigners who live in Korea come and exchange parts of their culture and language. Meetings usually take place in the evening. Every foreigner living in Korea agrees that Korea has very safe streets. And so in Arizona, everyone has guns. Like when my dad goes to the store, he has like a pistol on his pocket and like a rifle in his car. It's like everyone's kind of scary, like anyone could shoot you in Arizona. And so, so compared to Korea, like it feels very safe here. Where have you been lived? I've lived in uh, Argentina, Buenos Aires, Argentina, <laughs> uh, Bogota, Colombia, and around America in many different cities in America. So you think Korea is most safe? To by far, <laughs> by far the most safe. It's almost midnight. Rachel is making a phone call on her way home. 네, 감사합니다. I called Tongsa Chorom service. Oh, yeah. Oh, what is that? Um, it's a, a, a late night escort service uh -huh. um, that will take you by bus to your lo location, to your home. At bus stops across the country, the signs for Cheongsa Chorong service can be easily seen. With a simple phone request for service, night guard volunteers will escort the caller to their destinations. The service has been especially effective against criminal activities like sexual assault that target women who return to their homes late at night. Rachel's husband, Ivan, is a fan of the service because he can be assured of Rachel's safety at night. Hey. Is it fun? Yeah, it was good. Hey. Nice yeah. to meet you. Bye. I'm happy you're home. Yeah, me too. Did you have a good night? Yeah, it was good. 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 Okay, Rachel, how do you like this service? Yeah, it was really good. Um, it was very comfortable and convenient, and the people were really friendly. Three years have passed since Rachel and Ivan decided to settle in Korea. Not once have they regretted their decision thus far. It's time for Rachel to blog her experience with the safety system from today. Rachel firmly believes that Korea is a place that can ensure safety and keep the smiles on the children's faces shining brightly. Korea's public safety is becoming world-renowned. From first world countries to developing countries, many are looking to Korea for improvement on crime prevention systems and scientific investigations. the bustling streets of Korea at night. Dongdaemun Fashion Town is the main avenue of Korean fashion, attracting over 2.5 million foreigners annually. Also known for a thumbs up by Hollywood actress Jessica Alba, Dongdaemun Fashion Town is full of energy 24-7. Abigail, an English teacher from the UK, frequents Tongdaemun late at night after class. Featuring all kinds of the latest fashion trends, Tongdaemun's shopping town is one of the most popular places on the itinerary of international visitors. The biggest upside of Tongdaemun is the competitive pricing and a wide range selection. For Abigail, just being able to shop late at night is a huge plus. 
I think I come to Dongdaemun maybe a few times a year. And yeah, I visit quite often. What do you usually buy? When I come to Dongdaemun, I usually buy um, clothing and accessories and also shoes, but sometimes some equipment for my camera. To foreigners, Dongdaemun is better known as DDM. It is a place bustling with energy because the lights never go out. Abigail highly recommends visiting DDM for a genuine taste of what people call the Night of Seoul. Dongdaemun is that you can shop till late time and you can also come here and find many places to buy clothes and the transportation here is great. It's really easy to get here. So what would other foreigners spotted near Dongdaemun actually think of the place? It is very good for shopping, for night shopping and for some amazement. So you can go on the street on the night and it's uh, not dangerous because in Russia it's a little bit dangerous for, and you go on the street on the night. So they want to go, uh, they won't come back again. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> On her way home, Abigail is standing at a bus stop. So I'm waiting for the night owl bus and this is my first time to take it. And I think it's a really good system because it's pretty hard to get home late at night. So it's good that they introduced this. Seoul has recently begun operating late night bus lines. Running from midnight to 5 a.m. The night lines have N in front of their route numbers and only cost 2,000 won, approximately $2. The late night bus lines are providing a much needed affordable service to people whose options have always been limited to cabs late at night. So I feel great tonight and it's really nice walking at night time and shopping in Korea especially on when the weather's so great out and I just really enjoy Korean life. Abigail plans to stay in Korea longer and enjoy more of it. In October the Korea Tourist Police Department was launched Mainly comprised of police officers proficient in multiple languages, the department will be stationed in prime tourist attractions to reduce illegal activities, such as overcharging foreign tourists. The annual number of foreign visitors to Korea exceeded 10 million last year. The high level of safety measures and the improvement of tourism services will continue to rise in the coming years. Uh, we are going to crack down on crimes such as illegal taxi vans, overcharging vendors and unauthorized guys. If you need some help, just find us. We are in Myeongdong, Hongdae, Itaewon and Insadong. Thank you. Together they'll go all the way.